Hey everybody, how's it going? This is a um, Remington Model 66 Nylon Apache Black. Now, I just recently got this rifle. It's um, in a little bit of a banged up shape. It's not the most beautiful rifle I've ever seen, but you know what? It was cheap, and I love guns like these. You know, unique. So um, it's not a very sturdy rifle. No one could ever accuse it of being that. Very light. It is nylon. You know, it was one of the first synthetic stock rifles Remington was just messing with. It was built to be cheap manufactured quickly and you know what that's what it is it's a very sharp shooting little rifle it's a very fun rifle very light i have a lot i have way more better things to say about it than i do bad but um i will give it that the stock is very fragile very hollow it's um you don't get what you pay for though right so i'm gonna get inside of it for you guys i'm gonna take it apart field strip it and re-put it back together for you and kind of show you how to do that it's very very easy you can do all of this field strip it completely by just using a flat and a Phillips head screwdriver. It's that easy. So I'm doing here, and I'll show you guys a little bit closer. I don't know how close you guys can see that. I'm just taking out these two pins here. They come out real easy. Keep them together. Just like that. See? I took them out there and there. Now the next part here is real easy. You just pull out that lever here. It just pulls straight out. You see that? Put it back in to show you. It just pulls right out. In and out. Just like that. Put those together. Now you're able to take the receiving plate off just like that. So I'm going to set that right there. And it exposes the top here. You can see the striker, the barrel, I'm sorry, the, um, the bolt here and the barrel. I'm going to pull that back and I'm going to undo a screw here, Phillips head screw, right here. This just is retaining screw here. Undo that a little bit. Now I'm going to take it all the way out. You don't really need to take it all the way out, but I am. I'm just going to take it out and Set it off to the side. And there's a little retaining piece here that keeps the barrel down. There, that one, <laughs> we just fell out there. I'll show you guys that. That sits right here. This is the ejector right here. It sits in right there. And it is nothing holding that in there except for the plate here. So that just falls in, sits in, falls in. So I take it out. Just make sure you don't lose that. So that there. I'll pull this, rest this retaining screw there. If I can get a hold of it. See right, that like right there? That's what's holding the barrel down. So the barrel pulls right out after you move that retaining screw. I'm sorry, retaining pin there. And that pin pulls right out and it has a front and a back. This is how I pulled it out like it was sitting just like that. This front, and it says front on there. I don't know how well you can see that, but it says front on it, so you can't you can't mess it up. It just sits right in there, and then when you're done with it, it's just going to go sit back right in this little hole where it's being covered up right now. It's going to sit right back in there. I'll show you. So set that off to the side. Now this is real easy. This is the bolt here. That slides right out. And as you can see right here, this flops over there and holds it together, and this is a firing pin right there. That just sits right in there real snug, just like that. So you can go ahead and scrub, brush, and clean that and whatnot, whatever you need to do there. And here, this is for tension springs, and this is a striker here. And this is easy to come out. Oh, it's a little tricky to put back in, but it's not hard by any means. You just kind of scrub, brush that too. And then here, you have a field stripped nylon Model 66 Apache. And what you that orange tip you see right there, that is the ramrod right there that you saw. It's gone now. So there we have. The inside, I'm sorry, I know my camera's really bad, guys, and I haven't been getting really close here, so I hope you guys can also, you guys can see that good. So here's the inside of my gun. I cleaned it recently, so, I mean, I'm sure some people will be like, wow, it's still pretty dirty, but <laughs> I don't know. It's a pretty clean gun for now, but um, nothing too special about inside here. Not a lot of metal. It's mostly all plastic. Like they said, it's a nylon gun, you know, so the receiver's all plastic. That's all not a very hard plastic either, to be honest. But um, that's, that's as easy as it gets. You guys can get in there, you can scrub that out, and I wouldn't use grease. There's something about these nylon guns that they're built they're built to be non-lubricated. I don't really know much about that. Please, someone comment if you guys know anything about that. But I've been told not to lubricate these guns. So, take that as you will, you know. So, okay, I'm going to put this gun back together now. It's a little bit more difficult than getting it apart, but not, you know, not hard by any means. So here we go. We're going to start by putting the striker back together. So I'm going to take this here, and actually before I put that, hold on, so let me show you guys something. This right here, this sear is going to need to be down 
because the striker will get stuck on it. So this right here, you're going to take the gun off of safety here, and you're going to pull the trigger, and that's going to release the sear. Do you see the sear moving there? It's going to move, and then you're going to take it while I'm holding the trigger down. I'm holding the trigger. The sear is going to move, and I'm going to push that down. See how that pushes down also? That way the striker can move over it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to finger on the trigger, push down. Well, I'm not going to be doing that at the moment. I'm going to be moving the striker down. But I'll take my screwdriver, and I'll push that down as I'm moving it forward. And you guys will see it. Hopefully I can get a good picture of it. This is a very hard angle for me to hold. Let's see here. Hopefully you guys can see that well enough. Trying to bite off too many pieces at one time here. There we go. Sorry, I had multiple pieces. I didn't, I didn't want all that many. Okay, so now there's a striker. Okay, we'll feed that down into the hole there. The hole at the bottom there. Okay, now that I've got it seated there, it's not going to pass, you see? It's stuck on that sear. So I'm going to hold the trigger down, and I'm going to move that sear with my screwdriver. Okay, so once it moves past, then you can just kind of push it in place, and it'll lock. You see all that tension in there? It's locked past that point. So I'm going to put the safety back on, so that way I don't accidentally, you know, fire it and choom, and that would be gone, too. You'd never find that back. So, okay, now that piece that I was moving around with earlier, that can slide into that little hole there. See that? It goes right down into there. And then this piece inside that spring okay so now next piece I've got is my bolt here and I do just in case you guys got mixed up on that let me show you this again this firing pin right there sits it just sits right down inside there's a little groove you can't mess that up it sits perfectly like it's supposed to there's a groove made just for it in the middle and that'll fold over it doesn't have to fold over now it's meant to just lay on top of the barrel but I'm just gonna fold it over just so you guys can see that and it kind of holds it in place for me for a little bit okay so we'll get back in that so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to feed this spring. There's a little hole in the bottom of the of the bolt there where that this spring here is going to feed into it. So here I'm going to take that, and it moves around a lot, so I'm just going to kind of bend it a little bit just to my will. Not like hurt it or anything, just kind of get it in there. Now, and it slides right in the groove. Here we go. Under some tension. That's fine if it hangs back a little bit, though. I'm just going to kind of sit it there. There you'll see it. it goes all the way down. So now that I've got that there, I'm going to feed my barrel, seam whole barrel here. I'm just going to feed it through the stock here until I get it where I want it. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on a second. pins like I showed you guys not to forget right <laughs> these pins just like this I have this one and a small one the one that says front on it goes in the front just like that and they sit and there's nothing holding them together they just kind of sit real flat together and I take those two and the front end is going to go towards the muzzle front towards muzzle so I'm going to sit there and I'm going to see if I can get this on camera for you guys to see easier I'm going to fit that down into that little groove there. See that groove? That groove is fit just for this. You can see that little screw hole in the bottom where I pulled that retention screw out earlier. I'm just going to sit it in there, and I'm just going to kind of let it hang there for a second so I can kind of get my barrel through it. You see there's a there's a groove right there, a little dado groove there where that retention pin holds it. So I'm going to take that and run my barrel through there. Okay. And I'm going to, this is just kind of moving it around, you know, seeing what fits, like filling in a puzzle. There you go. It should pop into place there really tight. There you go. That's not going anywhere. That's exactly where I want it. 
That's exactly how it's machined, how they're built. That's, that's how it goes. Okay. So now this, what I was talking about earlier, that piece that flips over, that just sits on top of that, just like that. See? It's on a little hinge. Fits over it. Real easy. So now there's a couple things you don't want to forget now. Don't accidentally drop your firing pin out. This is still kind of free moving your firing pin. Don't turn your gun upside down and lose that. So I'm just kind of tilt this so you guys can see it. I'm going to lay my ejector back in there. Like again, there's nothing holding that in place except for the receiver plate. And I'm just going to hold that there and make sure that doesn't go anywhere. So I'm going to, I'm going to turn the gun. But um, if you do turn the gun, be careful not to dump this. You don't want to ooh, move that and it'll fall out because it will. So now I've got this just like this. I'm going to take my receiver plate again, and I'm just going to fit it over, and it should fit over just fine with no hitches. It should just slide right on top, just like that. And it should have a little bit of wiggle, but, you know, you can line the screws up really easy, and you'll figure out where they go. And now here, these just fit right into place back in here, and there should be no problem getting those screws in. If there's any, anything that blocks those screws, take this back apart and figure out what went wrong, because there should be nothing Blocking those screws, they should fit, they should fall right into place, going real easy. Okay, and these, careful tightening them, I don't tighten them extremely tight. I tighten them to where they're snug, but I don't over-snug them. I don't believe in over-snugging just about anything on a gun, unless, you know, the factory tells you it should be. I think the factory tightens them just as much as the factory wants them, and these were not factory snug snug on you know i don't want to bend the plates i don't want to crack the plastic because this is a fragile gun remember that guys these are nylon guns and then don't forget your retention screw here on the bottom i'm just gonna finger tighten that one until i get close enough finish her off you guys don't know you guys don't need to be taught how to tighten a screw i'm not dumbing you guys down just finishing it off okay that's in there and the last piece is you snap that back in and don't be worried about that it's not going to come off real easy it doesn't just it does yes just pop off but you have to give it a good pull just wait till you do it yourself you won't be worried that's your gun guys i mean i still have the ramrod out but other than that you have a completed gun you've been inside and you've uh cleaned it out checked it all out it's a neat gun it really is remington did a good job with them they don't make them anymore this is an Apache Black model. I don't know what year it was made, but I believe they stopped making them in 1989. So I have to do some more research. So again, if you guys know anything about them, uh, let me know. Seriously, they're, they're cool rifles. So um, have fun and shoot safe, guys.